Hey everyone, Rachel here from reachthestamper.com and today we're going to make this really, really, really simple card. This uses a piece of DSP from One Horse Open Sleigh. This is in the online exclusives. I've used, this is a different one that I use for this, but also we are using Balmy Blue as our base and we have a piece of Thick Whisper White that we're going to do our die cut with and we're going to use the Brightest Glow stamp set. <clears throat> I have the To You and Yours This Christmas, which I thought was really pretty. So you could either do one of two things. You could use Misty Moonlight or Pretty Peacock for your sentiment. I chose Pretty Peacock for this one. For this other one, I'll do Misty so you can see it. <coughs> I do apologize. I'm recovering from bronchitis, which is a pain in the behind if you've had it before. I've had it many times. I've had it at least twice this year, unfortunately. And then we're going to use some pecan pie and a blending brush just to add a little bit of color to our trees just because they were a little too stark white. And then the other thing that we're going to be using is the die set. I don't know what the stamp set is, so I do apologize. It's Aspen. It might be Aspen Tree, but it's Aspen Tree dies. You really only need this. It's going to cut it out. Kind of looks like Easter egg. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're be get, going to begin by cutting down our DSP. <coughs> I'm trying not to cough. <coughs> So it needs to measure exactly, <coughs> excuse me, exactly the same as the layer. That way there's no gaps or anything in between. So this is four by five and a quarter. So it just kind of can pick a spot. I like this large tree, so I think I'm going to go with cutting off a piece of each side. Just like so. So I kind of just eyeball it and then like, all right, that looks pretty good put this on the inside if you wanted to and then we're going to trim the other side to four <coughs> <coughs> and then for peeking through trying to see here. yeah I think I'm going to take about a half yeah about a half inch off the top and then I'll take the rest off of the bottom. So five and a quarter. Which wasn't very much. So this should line up 100% perfectly behind this that you can't even see it. Which is exactly what you want. Might be just a little smidgy off. I think I have to take just a, a hair. A hair, hair, hair off. Like over just a little. There we go. Okay, perfect. So you can't see it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our die. And we're going to try our very best to kind of line this up. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to line this up. And we're going to put a little piece of washi tape. And then run this through our die cut machine of choice. I am still rolling with my Big Shot. All right, just like so. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna go back and forth because I wanna make sure I get all those little bits out. And one tip to check to make sure that you've done it, everything. I've got a little paper was stuck to my die cut machine. If anything here doesn't look like it cut, you can put it back through face up because it puts more pressure directly on the cut lines, but I'm pretty sure we're good here. Okay. Yeah, this cut really well. It's funny, I was filming earlier and there was a dog and apparently they're back. Somebody must be walking around. Making this dog unhappy. My dog is only mildly alerted, so it must not be too big of a deal. <laughs> kind of reminds me, whenever you get this little quartet of dogs, it reminds me of Lady and the Tramp. All right, so I'm going to just take my very old paper piercer and just pop out these little couple spots. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. 
All right, and before I actually put this on is when I'm going to add a little bit of pecan pie. So I'm gonna take a blending brush and you wanna be super, super light because you don't want it dark. Just a little bit of something that gives a little bit of color. So I'm gonna give this a really light swirl, very barely pressing, but you can see this is a pretty new ink pad. So it's very darkly concentrated, which is why I went off there ahead of time. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit to a couple spots. It's okay, buddy. Looks pretty good. I don't wanna to do too much. You can see from here, I didn't even do really that much before. There you go, a little bit up here. I'm kind of trying just to stay with, uh, see that's almost a little too much, but I'm trying to stay with inside so I don't get it any on the edge of the oval portion, but if you do, you do, it's okay. What you gonna do? All right, so this is going to layer here. We're gonna just glue these directly to each other. And last but not least, I wanna show you, we'll do this with Misty Moonlight. So two things, you can either cut this just with a little piece and trim. So I'll do that for this one instead. I'm just gonna stamp it here. Or you could do a, um, a die cutting with the, what's it called? Uh, deckled rectangles so you can see there's not a very tiny one right like this but what I did is I used a larger piece of paper for that one and so I stamped it and then I die cut it and then I pulled it back out and I moved it down and I die cut just the top of it just to make it smaller so that's another thing you can do I'm going to just go with just for sake of making this a little quicker because if not I feel like I'm going to go into a annoying coughing jag so I'm gonna just stamp this onto a little scrap. So again, Brightest Glow has some great sentiments. I got this one specifically for that because I loved this sentiment so much. Okay, pretty sure that should fit. Oh, I wonder if this is a little too snuggy there. Let's see, well, only one way to find out. Oh, fits perfectly. Gosh, don't you love when that happens? that back wipe that off put this away the only other thing if you wanted to like I said you have these extra pieces so you could add these to the inside if you choose it really just depends put something across the bottom if you wanted to but what we're going to do to start before I do that one is I want to grab my glue and I'm going to put uh, so I'm going to glue around the corner here same for this one and this one, and this one, just a teeny bit across the bottom. And then I'm putting just a little bit in the middle, not on every single spot. It doesn't really need to be everywhere, but just so you have like some portions that will hook so it doesn't lift away necessarily. Mm. take this and we're going to just do our best. So I'm going to lift it so it's easier. I'm just going to line it up. That way it kind of has to set. There's not really any other place for it to go or stick to. And we're going to just press just like so. So really, really simple. And then I'm going to lay this across and I don't want it to go outside to this edge. So I'm going to just trim it right to here, but I'm going to put it up on dimensionals because it doesn't have a lot of dimension to this card. So just so we have one more, something just a little bit lifted. The other thing you could do as well on this one, and we'll do this before we attach it, is just grab your Wink of Stella pen. It doesn't even have to be like a full one and just kind of give a little bit of sparkle. Just remember, if you activate that uh, pecan pie ink, it will spread. So try not to put it anywhere you don't want it. This is a pretty dead one. Let me see if I can find one that has a little bit more juice. In case you're new here and you haven't ever heard this before, these are also really great for painting, even when they're dead. They're really great brush tips. So they're really nice for that. And then you can add a little bit of sparkle 
on the snow in the background. Doesn't have to be a lot. But I think it's a really cool card without really a whole lot of effort. All right, so we're gonna fold this. Grab this once more. And you know what, I'm gonna put this one here first, that way I can trim it. Just remove my dimensional backings. And it looks like that yours wants a little crooked. It's just to the edge. Let's see if this looks pretty square. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. Got a little bit of dimensional, but that's okay. Snip it, there we go. And then we're gonna add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of this. Did pretty good. So I have just a little bit of overlay with my white I can see through, but not enough that it would cause any problems. Okay. And I'm just gonna lay this right on here. And this is a great way, if you have a lot of Christmas cards, this would be the perfect way because pretty much any of those backgrounds will work for this. You know, a little sentiment, coordinating. You could change up the color of your cardstock if you wanted to. And then also, even if you wanted to do that, you could put a little bit on the inside, on one side or the other if you wanted to. Not This really wouldn't look so great across the bottom, but you could put your little tree over here. You gotta like the lining of that just like that. So we have a good about an inch of so make sure you get to the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is just make sure looking on the back that this is lined up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then you could add another sentiment on the inside if you wanted to, or just a little Christmas note. There you go. Really pretty card. And then we only have just this little piece left over, which I'm sure I'll use that for something. You could even put this on the envelope. <clears throat> Great idea. Add that to the envelope. You can wrap it up with that. <clears throat> so I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I think if I were to pick, I do still like the peacock better. Not sure why. Misty Moonlight is probably not one of my favorite colors. I do like it. I really love, I love the peacock. I love the lagoon. I love, you guys know I love Coastal Cabana. I sure do miss Bermuda Bay, but I'm glad we got uh, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock back. That was pretty nice. I'm going to just do this one more time because it's just sticking up a little bit more than I want it to. There you go. Much better. So thank you guys very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, you learned maybe a new tip or trick, please leave me a comment and let me know what it was. If there's something that you'd like to see done, I would also like to hear that as well. I do answer all of my comments on YouTube because I don't get a ton of them. So if you have something to say, now is the time before I hit it big and you can't find me. Just kidding. I will always be here. Thank you guys so much for watching me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them there. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on the button. That way you'll know when I make a new video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.